Wir hatten ja vorhin unser schönes Morpheus Orakel. Wir hatten Gamba Gamba und äh, Pepe an sich. Morph, fang dich. Wobei, es ist günstiger für mein Geldbeutel, wenn das jetzt funktioniert. Das darf man auch nicht vergessen. Gut. Wir gucken erstmal, wie viele Gebete wir überhaupt haben. Du? Habe ich gehört. Well. <lacht> Gut, das stand dann wohl doch nicht zur Debatte, die Aussage. Machen wir jetzt ein oder machen wir zwei? Ein. Figur, lila. Katschine. Also wenn ich ein Double Gamba kriege und so ein, so ein Rolls hier, also bitte. Immerhin. <lacht> Wollte schon sagen, revidiere dich wenigstens, Zehner. Alles andere wäre frech gewesen. Ich wollte das Spiel schon hops nehmen, ne? bin ich ehrlich. Aber hey, Katschina, wir, wir haben jetzt schon mal. Also die Optik von dem rosigen war ja. Äh, von dem rostigen war ja okay. Keine Ahnung, wie es jetzt sind. Das Ding ist ein absolut Scheißbogen. Der geht auf Physical Damage. Und ich bin so ein Typ, ich, ich spiele sowieso nicht Physical Damage. Auf, vor allem auf den Bogenschützen Physical. Like, hä? Das macht nicht mal Sinn. Äh, so. Wir waren bei Mualani. Ganz weit scrollen. K-L-M-N. L-M-N. Moment. Mualani. Wir haben gerade mal 10 Gebete hinter uns. Okay. So, da Morph allerdings. Ah. Let's get physical. <lacht> Ach, fick dich. Ähm, so. Eine Sache ist schon mal, Kachina macht nicht die Cola und das ist wichtig. So, da du noch ein äh, Gamble reingezimmert hast, ich denke mir immer, das jetzt ein Deutschen, aber brachial, bitteschön. Hm. Lass uns physikalisch werden. Ja, ja, granted. Okay. Wird wieder ein Charakter. Oh. At least. Dafür, dass das der 99er Roll war, ist das schon traurig. Sind wir mal ehrlich. Aber unsere Pity ist auch echt schwach gerade. Also, sind wir mal ehrlich. So. Und da du jetzt nochmal einen äh, Slots reingehämmert hast, kommt nochmal einer rein. Cool Story, Ro cool Story Ross und We Smart. Auch wieder 5 Star. Äh, 4 Star. Entschuldigung, Character. Ich würde mich über eine Kachina freuen, aber es wird wahrscheinlich keine Kachina, sondern wahrscheinlich wieder eine Jungling oder irgendwer komplett aus dem Off, der nicht mal im Bonus-Roll drin ist. Close enough. <lacht> Shinyan. Kriegen ganz viele Gebete zurück. Finde ich gut. Datei, speichern unter. Oh, fang dich, ich habe kein, äh, kein Geld. Aktuell auf dem Konto. Was haben wir jetzt? Letzte. Auch wieder Forster. Ja. Auch wieder Charakter, aber. Ja. Ah, warte mal. Trollface. Ja, das wird die Waffe. Es wird eine Solo-Waffe. 
Ich habe nichts gesagt. Hi, Katschina. Dich sehe ich immer wieder gerne. Ob sich Katschina tatsächlich wieder bei Setos einreiht und sich denkt so, bevor du Mualani kriegst, kriegst du mich C6? Ich, ich würde mich ehrlich gesagt freuen. So ist es nicht. Aber jetzt wird schon langsam spannend mit den Gebeten tatsächlich. So. Klenk. Was sagen eigentlich die Standardgebete? Acht. Ja, okay, cool. Äh, einloggen. Jo. Ja, gut, das äh, war jetzt ähm, nicht schwierig. Was gibt da Neues? Ah ja. Stimmt. Erstmal letzte Dämmerung, Login-Event. Ja, genial beschwungen, juckt mich nicht. Äh, wir haben eine neue Waffe. Stimmt. Wenn wir unsere Mission durchhaben. Wir haben nämlich einen Aussichtspunkt gefunden. Wir haben eine Kachina, die ein bisschen Sternbild kriegt. Allein das Bild ist so geil. So genial von den Kleinen. So. Haben wir hier noch ein paar Nachrichten. Alle einsammeln. Lesen, löschen. Okay, bye. So. Ankündigung. Was gibt es denn hier wieder für Neues? Ja, blablabla. Hm. Morph, wird mir stinken, wenn ich du wäre. Right. 133 Stück, holy shit. Die muss dafür gekauft werden, auch wenn sie nicht nutze, aber ist egal. Ich habe eine Schüssel voller Erdbeeren im Saft. Bin happy. Eine Schüssel. Schlüssel. Nee. Okay. Ah, eine Schüssel voller Erdbeeren mit Saft. Ja, gönn dir. Gönn dir, gönn dir. So, äh, da wollte ich hin. Und zwar müssen wir. Auf den Berg. Alles klar. Berg hoch und äh, Zeit, Katschina zu retten. Glaube ich. Hoffe ich. Ich muss in der Story mal schnell weiterkommen, das ist... Also wird's lächerlich. Was bist du? Ein Gegner. Au. Alle tot. Noise. So that's that. Okay. Ach ja. Heilen wir mal kurz unsere Alle Kino wieder hoch. Zu guter Let's Traden. Und dann klettern wir doch mal das Dingchen hier hoch. Ah ja. Magma gestaltet Lavagestein. Okay. Neuer Gegner. Alles gut. Ja. 
Ich finde es interessant, wie sie ganz kurz etwas angestrengt. Das klingt jetzt blöd. Stöhnt. Und dann einfach voll gelangweilt seufzt. Als wäre nichts. Did you get everything? Of course we did. Yep, it's all here. When do we start? Yes. I've made all the necessary adjustments, so we're good to go. As agreed, I'll help you find Kachina's ancient name, and then you return the favor. Of course. Äh, dürfte ich dich was fragen? Ja, wollte gerade fragen. Go ja. ahead. Hast du den alten Namen deines Freundes? Aus denselben Gründen wie wir? Äh. Uh, yes. After Malko fell, I scoured the battlefield to see what happened. It turned out he wasn't bested by some impossibly powerful foe. He was dragged to his grave by the sheer number of enemies. If I had been there, I would have been able to sense the danger. I could have warned them not to advance. I've always blamed myself for what happened. But when you told me about Kachina, I realized there's a chance Malko might also be alive, fighting for survival in the Night Kingdom. But that happened several years ago, right? Yep. The Pyro Archon said all life within the Night Kingdom eventually becomes one with the Sea of Souls. There might not be much hope, but I still have to try. Malko and I promised each other, even if we never managed to root out the Abyss for good, we would fight together until the end. All right, let's get to it. I'll start searching for the conceptualized version of Kachina's ancient name. If you see any fragments scattered around the area, please collect them. Uh, okay. Make sure you prepare yourselves for battle. As I said, the stone will link the mortal realm to the Night Kingdom. The Abyss will likely emerge in response. Da kriegen wir ihn. Look at that golden thing. It must be one of those fragments the Chama mentioned. Let's get closer. Ich wette, bei Kachina wird nicht viel passieren, aber gleich, wenn wir versuchen, seinen Kollegen... Das ist belastend. Dein Schild ist vielleicht immun gegen Feuer, aber du nicht. How much longer, Bichama? Not long. We're getting close. Zwei. Fuck. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Na, eins. Zwei. Dann. I found Kachina's ancient name. Hang in there, Malko. Just a little longer. Something's not right. The power of the abyss is getting stronger. The abyss is corroding his body. Vichama, you can't keep going. You'll die. I should have died five years ago. I just need a little more time. Please, I'm almost there. Ich werde das Wasser verschaffen. Spam it! Oh, watch out! The power of 
the abyss is strong. This power hanging in there. Ich kann nicht lange aufhalten und läuft die Zeit davon. No, why can't I find him? Why? We can't wait any longer. Pull him away from the stone, Muolani. I already tried, but the power of the abyss has him in a chokehold. It's like he's tied to the stone with an invisible rope. In that case, we have no choice. I'm sorry, Seat Molly. Get back! Chaka, oh. wait! Okay. Ouch! What happened just now? It looked like the spirit speaker stone was. The stone's power was spiraling out of control. The only way to stop it was to destroy it. Mit dieser Szene habe ich jetzt eine Sache gelernt. Eigentlich war ich voll into diese Frau. Jetzt bin ich nicht mehr. Sie sind scheiß Bogenschütze. You were all caught in the shockwave of the explosion. You might feel dizzy for a while, but that's normal. Auf deiner Seite schießt still hot. <lacht> Give us a heads up next time, will you? You're lucky we managed to dodge it in time. I thought I said to get back. Yeah, barely a second before you made it go poof. Not everyone has your reflexes, Chaska. We were this close to getting dragged into the explosion. Okay. I'll be more careful next time. At least Kachina's ancient name is still in one piece. Wait, where's Vichama? Vichama! Uh, uh. Vichama! I couldn't find Nako's ancient name. It must be completely gone by now. Once your ancient name disappears, there's no coming back. From the very beginning, I knew there was a slim chance, but still. And now... <sighs> It's too late to save him. From the minute he left that day, it was already too late. Vichama. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he's heard enough condolences over the years. Let's just give him some space. Huh? What's that in your hands, Vichama? It looks like something's glowing. Huh? This is... Um. Hey, Melko. Got any strength left? Not enough to swing a sword, but to say a few last words. Sure. <laughs> Too bad. No one will get to hear them. I never thought I'd actually die on this mission. Not that I'm afraid to die. It's just hard thinking about my mom's face when she hears the news. Guess I have something to be thankful for then. My parents died a long time ago. They won't have to mourn me. Pisak, <sighs> always had to beat me at everything, didn't you? Right to the end, you were never one for goodbyes. Maybe you're right. Maybe no one will get to hear our last words. But just in case, Pichama, I'm so glad you didn't come with us. Don't be sad. Just keep on living. For the both of us. <sighs> Marikos letzte vision. Wow, okay, cool. Seems like we were able to salvage something after all. Of course. Seeing him, hearing his voice again, it makes me unbelievably happy but 
It also brings with it an even deeper pain. A deeper pain? Why? Malka was always the type to put on a brave face. But in that memory just now, his hands were shaken. And his smile was forced. Granted. For all these years, I regretted not being able to fight alongside him to the end. And now I know, at the end of his life, he was thinking the same thing. Bichama. I'm fine. Actually, I heard Chief Wina wasn't really on board with your plan to go to the Night Kingdom. When you asked for my help, I hesitated too. I knew helping you find your friend's ancient name meant leading you one step closer to danger. But I also understood why you had to try. Everyone has regrets in life, but not everyone gets the chance to make up for them. Once allowed to fester, guilt strips us of our most valuable qualities as warriors. In that sense, we might as well choose the braver path from the very beginning. If I could do it all over again, I would have followed Malko to the front lines no matter what. Even with an injured leg, there were still things I could have done. That way, even if the outcome stayed the same, I still would have fought alongside him to the end. There are critical junctures in life, and if you don't seize the chance to act, there's no going back. That's something I had to learn in hindsight, but you're still at the crossroads of your journey, so... I hope you can walk away without regrets. Thank you, Vichama. I feel even more determined now. Kachina will come back to us. I'll make sure of it. I promised I would find her, and I intend to keep that promise. That's good to hear. <coughs> Strange. <clears throat> My body, it's... Once abyssal corrosion enters the body, a portion will fuse itself to your internal organs. Even though the Traveler possesses powers of purification, the corrosion can never be fully eradicated. Thanks to him, though, you are only briefly exposed. Slowing your breathing and controlling your emotions should help you keep the symptoms in check. Woher? Also, ich meine, gut, sie hat gesehen, dass wir diese Absorptionskräfte haben, aber sind wir mal ehrlich? Woher zum Fick weiß sie, wie diese Absorptionskräfte funktionieren? Mulani hätte es wissen können, ja. Aber sie? Sorry. Well, that does make me feel better. You seem very knowledgeable about all this. Just speaking from experience, that's all. Anyway, we've recovered Kachina's ancient name, so we're off to a great start. Let's oh. get Vichama back to his tribe and tell Wine of the good news. Oh boy, ich hab grad noch was gesehen. Sie ist auch noch ein Cryobogenschütze. Ugh. Oh, um, and apologize for destroying the spirit speaker stone. We had no choice, though, so he'll probably understand. Mm, right? Ah. <laughs> uh, probably. <sighs> Koichi, are you really gonna just stand there like that? I don't know what you want from me. I think you know exactly what I'm trying to say, Uncle Wina. I can hear it in your voice. Honestly, it's just one thing after another with you two. Huh. They're back. Koichi? What are you doing here? <laughs> don't play dumb with your own sister. You know exactly why I'm here. My apologies, everyone. I just need to borrow Tasca for a few minutes. You come with me. Huh? I'll be just a moment. Huh? Who is that? Danke. Kunchi. Chaska's younger sister. Although the two aren't actually related by blood, it's kind of a long story. Ah, okay. 
Seelenverwandtschaft. Ich habe das Gefühl, dass man das ist nicht wirklich meine Geschichte zu erzählen, aber ich glaube, es ist nicht ein Geheimnis. Du siehst, Chaska wurde eigentlich von Kukusors geboren. Sie war mit einer seltenen Krankheit verletzt, als sie ein Kind war und abandoned in der Wild als Resultat. Der Abyss fand sie dort, alle auf ihrem eigenen, und versuchte sie zu verletzen. Aber am Ende, all das tat, war, ihr Willen zu leben zu triggern. Okay, das erklärt auch ihr Wissen über die Abgrundimmunität, also beziehungsweise was heißt die Abgrundimmunität, ähm, die Abgrundmagie zu überstehen im eigenen Körper. That strength of will pushed her to survive, but it also planted a seed of conflict within her. Eventually, she was adopted by the Cuckoo Source. Wherever they went, she followed, getting into fights right and left. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, when Chaska finally returned to human society, it was Quichi's parents who adopted her. At the time, Chaska still had a habit of getting into fights, so Quichi was always taking her around, apologizing to everyone. Ah, oh, I remember those days. One of those fights was definitely with me. But, you know, kids, you're fighting one minute and your friends the next. Eventually, she found a way to rein in that desire to fight. And now she's who people call to resolve conflicts. She's known as the peacemaker. It sounds like she still argues with Koichi, though. Don't siblings usually stop fighting when they get older? Nah. <sighs> That's mm -mm. partly my fault. Koichi asked me to stop Chaska from doing anything dangerous. But you probably know by now, once Chaska makes up her mind, there's no changing it. Yeah. Oh, I get it. No wonder you tried to talk us out of going to the Night Kingdom. Chaska even said that wasn't like you. I'm all for your adventure. You need to take risks when you're young. Because by the time you're my age, you couldn't attempt something like that even if you wanted to. Better try now than live with regrets later. That's what I say. Macht Sinn. Still, I can understand where Quichi's coming from. In the end, nobody wants to sit back and let a loved one put their life on the line. Ja. All right, it's just the two of us now. You have one minute to explain yourself. I don't have anything to say. You don't have to approve, but you should know I only do what's necessary. That attitude is exactly the problem. It's like you don't care. You try to sneak off to the Night Kingdom behind my back and then play it down as if it's just a trip abroad. Well, technically I am going abroad, right? Again with the excuses! <sighs> we agreed, didn't we? There are four levels of danger. If it's not something urgent, you can only engage in level two danger and below. You can only go up to level three if a situation is so dire there's absolutely no alternative. But a trip to the Night Kingdom? If that's not a level four, I don't know what is. And you were just going to sneak into the place without saying anything. What do you mean, sneak into the place? I always planned on walking in there with my head held high. You bought off Uncle Wyna, didn't you? He promised me he'd stop you from doing anything dangerous. Oh, it's like he didn't even try. You feel like he went back on his word. What if I told you my mind was made up and there was nothing he could have done, not even by force? Oh, I knew it. So he did try to say something, but you didn't listen. This is important. If you were in my shoes, you'd make the same decision. You don't know that. I'm a doctor, and I handle logistics. If you're going to waltz into a dangerous situation where you could lose control at any moment, it's my duty to say something. All right, whatever. Anything else? <laughs> you... <laughs> what do you mean, anything else? Why don't you reflect on what you've done and promise me you'll stay put? Time out. Is this one of our normal arguments or a serious one? Chaska, does it sound like I'm joking? Then... You need to know something. What happened to Kachina was partially my fault. I can't leave her there to die. That's not who I am. But the person you become when you lose control, that's also not who you are. Huh? That's a different issue. You said it yourself. 
A person is only as good as their morals. If I want to live in that land, I need to display qualities that make me worthy of this nation. I've also told you that managing your condition is equally important. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. <sighs> All right, let's stop this here. If we keep going, I might actually have to get serious. And I think Wyna prefers his roof attached to his house. Is that a threat? That sounds like a threat to me. Uh, Koichi! Uh, younger sisters are supposed to listen to their elders. Uh, so, you're really going to go, no matter what I say? I'm supposed to be your sister. Then support me. I'll be back. All you have to do is wait. Ugh, Chaska. So, that's it. Why'd you have to turn out to be so darn annoying? Ugh, you two are something else. Something you wanted to say? I know you aren't related by blood, but you two sure are similar. Oh, yeah. Really? You know, I said that very thing to Kuichi not too long ago, and she reacted the exact same way, down to the very tone of voice. It's not my place to get involved, but I will say this. Try to spend a little more time with your sister. You're tough kids. That doesn't mean you have to go it alone. Thank you. Anytime. All right. If you're done with the Spirit Speaker Stone, you might as well hand it over. According to Kinich, it's an important ceremonial artifact, so it'd be safer to keep it with me. Um, uh, well, about, about that. that. <laughs> if only Tone Gift Bard was here, he could have repaired it just like the Holy Liar. It might be in a few more pieces than you remember. Uh huh? I see. Mm. Sounds like it was an urgent situation. If someone's life was on the line, then you had no choice. Still, Seat Lolly's going to be a nightmare to deal with now that you've broken her stuff. I'll explain everything to her later. Stay safe out there in the Night Kingdom, okay? I'll wait here for your safe return. Rin in the booms. We're back! We found Kachina's ancient name too! Was in the arena of setting first, was here. Well, it's fairly complicated. Let me give you the condensed version. Yeah, noon. The Fatui again? We can't go anywhere without them causing trouble. But what if the Fatui finds out you've lost your power? Won't they try to take advantage of the situation? <laughs> That's why it has to be our little secret. No one else can know or we're asking for trouble. Look, I wish I could offer you some sort of consolation, but I won't lie to you. With multiple factions closing in, there's nothing comforting about the situation we're facing. Still, all you need to do is focus on your goal. You can leave the complicated matters to me. I can also step in on the Pyro Archon's behalf. There's a limit to what I can accomplish, but I'll help you however I can. <laughs> there's no need to be so modest, Yansan. Your incredible strength has long been a well-known fact. You're the pride of your tribe. Bevor wir jetzt weitermachen mit der Konversation, ich habe gerade was gesehen. Jansan ist ja schon was länger unterwegs in den Workouts von Genshin Impact. Und jedes Mal, wenn man sie sich anguckt, denkt man sich, okay, sie ist ein Geo-Charakter. 
Turns out she is not. Auf ihrem Rücken trägt sie eine Elektro-Vision. Interesting. Ich finde es aber gut, dass tatsächlich Natlan jetzt so einen Weg geht von wegen wir komplettieren mal die Elemente der Chibis. Der Chibi-Charaktere. Ich meine, bisher hatten wir jetzt nur zwei neue Chibis bekommen, letztens. Die beide Dendro waren mit äh, Yao Yao und mit äh, Nahida. Danach kam ja gar keine Chibis mehr dazu. Oh, oh, Entschuldigung, Entschuldigung. Doch, eine gab es ja noch. Eine Melusine, die ja versucht, ein Mensch zu sein. Sijuin. Ist aber auch wieder Wasser gewesen. Wobei, was heißt wieder Wasser? Wait a minute. Was hatten wir bisher noch nicht? Wir haben angefangen mit Ice Chibi. Danach kam Feuer Chibi. Danach kam noch ein Ice Chibi. Also beziehungsweise wir hatten zwei Ice Chibis, die direkt gekommen sind. Ein Feuer Chibi ist darauf gefolgt. Ähm Dann kam der Elektro Chibi in Sumaru. In Inazuma hatten wir den Animo Chibi mit Sayu. Dann haben wir zwei Dendros bekommen und jetzt noch ein Wasser. Natlan vervollständigt die ganze Sache. Tatsächlich. Mit Elektro und Geo. Moment. Ja doch. Damit haben wir alle 10 Chibis und alle 7 Elemente. Dafür haben wir schon mal zweimal Kryo und zweimal Dendro. Ah, naja. Arkan, I... I'm sorry about before. You have so much on your plate, so much that you have to worry about. But all I could do was focus on my own feelings. You have nothing to be sorry about. We all get overwhelmed by our emotions, myself included. Your reaction to Kachina's disappearance, I... I understand that feeling very well. Well, now that we have Kachina's ancient name, let's go track her down. Follow me. Mavuika, tu uns einen Gefallen. Geh nicht selber da rein, schick uns rein. Also, uns. Okay. Wow. Kulturgüter von allen Clans? Also, Stämmen? What is this place? Hey, is it that a talisman? <lacht> Good eye. This is where I store all the various mementos I've collected. Wow. I've never seen this place before. There are so many things in here. It looks like there are items from every tribe. Collecting them must have taken a lot of effort. I suppose you could think of it as a hobby of sorts. In Natlan, everyone grows up listening to the stories of heroes. And physical items do a far better job of preserving those stories than our own memory. <sighs> Now, I still have some preparations to make for the ceremony, so feel free to take a look around in the meantime. If you're curious about an item, I'm more than willing to tell you about its origins. All right, we'll have a look. Ich muss gestehen, ich mag ihre Frisur, solange sie nicht brennt. Oh, die Ecke ist nicht so spannend. This flower looks like it's thriving. You must be good at taking care of plants, Arkan. This fishing basket looks familiar. Hey, there's a fishing rod here. It must have belonged to the people of the springs. That's right. It belongs to a legendary fisherman named Matavaru. I have his entire set of fishing equipment, actually. He and I met in a tavern. He told me about a particular kind of giant fish and his meticulous plan to catch it. In his eyes, I saw 
a hunger and a strong fighting spirit. To him, the sea was the battlefield upon which he staked his honor. So, did he do it? I doubt it. The next time I saw him, he was covered in scars. It turned out the fish he sought had been corroded by the abyss. He managed to kill the fish, but sustained a serious injury in the process, which meant he could never go deep sea fishing again. Can a fisherman claim victory if he fails to bring back his catch? That's what he asked me in the end. Well, Paimon thinks he won. That was my answer as well. The experience was far more valuable than the prize itself. In the end, he didn't want his tools to go to waste, so he gave them to me. Wait, that means you also know how to fish. <laughs> Maybe we can go head to head sometime. Wie soll ich das Gefühl, dass sie uns einen Fischerbonus geben wird? Ähnlich wie Toma. This is a Teia's talisman. I'm sure you're familiar with this one already. A Teia was rarely ever without it. The talisman brought her a lot of luck in battle. Fucking wrestling gürtel, Junge. Oh, that belt is bigger than Paimon's head. Oh yeah, it's big the as. The collective of plenty are known for their bodybuilding competitions and contests of strength. This belt is a symbol of great honor within the tribe. The association with strength might also have been the reason the original belt was extremely heavy. It was difficult for even two people to lift. And even if a warrior had the strength to put it on, wearing it for any length of time would still leave them gasping for breath. Sounds like it. So the owner of the original belt, Katera, commissioned a craftsman to make a copy identical in appearance but far lighter in weight. That is the belt you see before you. He would often wear this version when training in order to protect his waist. Or he made a lighter version so he could wear it all the time and show it off. <laughs> ah, ist was dran. Make sure to handle everything with care. This cup, for example, it's heavier than it looks. Yo. There are so many jars and potions around here. Do they have anything to do with alchemy? No. Those belong to the masters of the Nightwind. Their ceremonial tools used to amplify the ability to communicate with the Night Kingdom and the Wyab. Yamaya is an expert in this field, and she taught me a lot. Even though she appears stoic and serious, she actually has a keen sense of humor. The tools you see here are quite traditional. Her students found them outdated, so she passed them on to me. The contents of the jars aren't all that special, Oh, uh, except the big jar in the middle. That's what you really wanted to give me. Ooh, must be something really cool. What's inside? I call it. Grape juice. Mm. Uh. <laughs> it's quite tasty, although probably expired by now. Traumsaft aka Traumschnaps. Geil. Es ist interessant zu wissen, dass genau diese Waffe hier liegt. Gut zu wissen, dass sie aus Fontar kommt. Äh, aus, aus, aus Nordland kommt. Could it be that. Wow, this weapon is huge! Which tribe did it belong to? Ah, that weapon belonged to Tainoch, a hero from 500 years ago. Strictly speaking, he didn't belong to any single tribe. That's because even before the disaster with the Abyss broke out, he had already been exiled. Exiled? It was a punishment, imposed out of necessity, but he accepted it all the same. He believed it was what he deserved. 
When the Abyss attacked, the tribes found themselves in urgent need of a powerful figure to lead them into the battle, and there was no one more courageous or resolute than him. He united the six tribes and accomplished great feats throughout the war. Ultimately, he perished, and because he had already lost his ancient name, the Ode of Resurrection was unable to bring him back. And so, he was laid to rest, alongside the countless warriors and civilians who lost their lives, buried in the soil of his native land. Wow, he sounds like a true hero. <laughs> Indeed, even now his story is told throughout the land. So, Mawika. Ich muss mal kurz auf deine Pelle rücken, weil das will ich sehen. Na? Mavuika, ihre kleine Schwester und ihre Eltern? Probably. Ich, ich. Okay. Wir haben uns alles angesehen. Mavuika, wie geht's weiter? The powder still needs some time to settle. So let's wait a little longer. Well, what do you think of my collection? Do you feel like you have a better understanding of Natland's culture now? Yeah. If each item no. represents a different story, seems like Natland's really been through a lot. Does every item hold a special memory, just like a Teya's talisman? That's right. The items in my collection actually serve a similar purpose to the ancient names passed down among the tribes. They demonstrate the true shape of time. The shape of time? Huh. Oh. Most people perceive time as a linear concept, almost like a straight line that can only move forward. We cannot change the past or predict the future. But there's also a different theory, one that I believe to be closer to the truth. Namely, that the past, present, and future all exist at once. At once? What? Pilot's not sure she understands. Uh, let's say your journey ended right now. Thinking back on your experience in each nation, which one would you say was the most important? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Even at the end Alles of your journey, wichtig. the things you experienced along the way don't cease to exist. They become part of who you are. Take out a portion of that journey, and you would likely make very different decisions, and eventually arrive at a very different destination. The future is the same way. It exists even though it has yet to come to pass. We just lack the means to perceive it. Of course, there are those with the power to foresee the future. They simply call it by a different name. Fate. <laughs> You're quite familiar with that concept, I would imagine. No, 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 no. That does kind of make sense. The future hasn't happened, but already exists. Humanity excels at living in the present, but too often we forget the past and neglect the future. Also zeichne die alten Namen die Vergangenheit auf. While the pilgrimage and the night warden wars lead us to a better future. Only by uniting the people of Natland across countless eras can we fight back against an enemy as formidable as the Abyss. To come up with such a set of rules. The first Pyro Archon must have possessed a level of insight I can only imagine. Also hat der erste Pyro Archon die Regeln von Atlang geschaffen? That's correct. At first he was a mortal man with no special power. After he ascended to the Divine Throne, he used it to borrow power from the heavens and establish the rules of Natlan. Namely, a framework through which ordinary people can ascend to Archonhood. By holding the pilgrimage, 
we're able to determine the strongest among us. And when that person ascends to the divine throne, their inner flame will awaken. In addition, the sacred flame will grant them significant knowledge and memory of this land. After all, that's how I came to know everything I just told you. So, it all comes down to the power of the divine throne and the rules. Wait, is that a family portrait? <laughs> yes. That's my mother, father, younger sister, and the little Saurians we raised. Sie kommt also aus dem Volk. Ja, gut, das macht durchaus Sinn. I turned a piece of my dad's leather armor into a canvas and commissioned a famous artist to paint our likeness. Your sister is so cute! It looks like the two of you are really close. I'm always having a hard time thinking of an archon as an ordinary person, but seeing this portrait, nah. it kind of makes sense now. <sighs> Wenn ich wetten müsste, ist ihre kleine Schwester nicht mehr da. It really doesn't look like there was anything special about you before. Oh, wait, is Paimon allowed to say that? A little late for that question, don't you think? Sorry, Paimon's so sorry. Paimon's mouth works faster than her brain sometimes. <laughs> It's all right. I'd never get upset over something like that. No matter what others may say, my past is a precious part of my identity. I'm forever proud of the life I used to lead. Becoming the Archon doesn't mean you sever ties with your family. The position just comes with a lot of responsibilities, so it impacts how often you get to see them. My father made the most delicious stew, so my sister would often bring me a large pot of his cooking, and we would sit on a blanket and eat it together. One time, we didn't close the door securely, and the Saurians you were raising ran into the room and knocked over the entire pot. My sister immediately burst into tears. The two troublemakers were going for the meat, but when they saw my sister's distress, they froze on the spot. I still remember the way they laid there, sulking like a pair of children, even after making such a mess. It was frustrating, but in the end, all I could do was comfort my sister and move on. Wow. Du hast ihn das einfach so verziehen? Isn't that what being a family is all about? <laughs> I think about that story a lot, actually. As the Archon, I made a vow to defend this nation. And experiences like that, they remind me exactly what I'm trying to protect. Well, what happened after that? This portrait looks pretty old. Your sister must be all grown up by now, right? Nah. Later, she ended up working as an architect and artist. She built many houses and crafted many beautiful works of art. Anyway, that's enough about me. Now that the powder is settled, we can begin. Iansan, Mulani, Chaska, over here, please. Place the ancient name up there, and then we'll begin. Surely, as the echoes of life resound through heaven and earth, so too shall our stories remain eternal. Ancient name, take us to your fated bearer. Allow her to answer our call. Uh, am I hallucinating again? Kachina, are you okay? Huh? I, I'm not seeing things, am I? Is, is the abyss playing tricks on me again? It's okay, Kachina. It's just us. We're trying to find a way to bring you back. Everyone, you have to listen to me. I've been investigating the Night Kingdom this entire time. And I figured out what's wrong. The Wyab is being affected by the Abyss. I was waiting for the Wyab to send me back, 
But then this really strong monster came in and it almost killed me. But why it saved me, even though its power is weakening. So I've been hiding from the monsters while trying to find a way to help. The Night Kingdom has become a huge mess, though. I keep hearing these awful sounds and seeing really horrible things. Don't listen to those sounds, Kachina. The Abyss is trying to strip you of your sanity. All you need to do is stay safe and wait for us. We'll be there shortly. And it's okay. I feel so much better now that I've had the chance to talk to you guys. You don't need to worry about me. I've never been strong or special at all, really. So I don't blame anyone for forgetting about me or leaving me behind. <laughs> Just knowing you care is more than enough. Bullshit. I'll find a way back. You don't have to put yourselves in danger to come rescue me. Uh-oh. You're always like this, Kachina. Now's not the time to act tough. We're coming for you, and that's final. I don't know what lies the Abyss has been feeding you, but I'll tell you something right now. Nobody here sees you as a burden. You're a victor of the Night Warden Wars. A hero of Natlan. All you need to do is wait for us to rescue you. And you'll get all the applause and recognition you deserve. <laughs> I'm... I'm really scared. Everything's so dark and creepy here. All you need to do is place your trust in us, just like you always have. No one fights alone. We're not leaving you behind. Not ever. Yeah, we're so close, we can't call it quits now! Thank you. Be careful. Looks like we've lost contact. Now comes the most dangerous part. You have to traverse the Night Kingdom in your physical form. Yeah, Abfahrt! This entrance to the Night Kingdom was left behind after an abyssal invasion. Even a brief amount of time inside could expose you to corrosion. Scheiße, geil, Render. Ab. I'm prepared for the possibility. We müssen die Wire freiräumen. Then I wish you all the best. I'll tell Koichi to be ready just in case. She's very experienced in dealing with abyssal corruption. That face you just made. Don't tell me you two got into another argument. No, I just feel bad for creating more work for her. I'll go with them too, Archon. The more people, the stronger the party. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. It really means a lot that you're willing to brave these dangers with me. And there's no time to lose, so let's get going. Now that I've lost my power, I won't be able to provide much practical support. But I can still keep an eye on the situation from here. Eonsan, I know it's unlikely, but if you encounter a situation you can't handle... That won't happen. I hope not. Be careful out there. I'll observe the situation from here. Alrighty. Up thought. Hallo Hilitschö, tschüss Hilitschö.
Ja, in Polen ist Level 90, wir sind Level 80. I know, I know, I know, aber egal. Sag mal schon. So we're underneath Natland right now? It looks nothing like Paimon was imagining. That's because in the distant past, Natlin was home to an incredibly advanced civilization ruled by dragons. Humans only established their own society after the fall of the dragons. So these are Saurian ruins? Ich denke das nicht, dass sie von den Saurian spricht. Ich glaube, sie meint echte Drachen. Wait! You mean like the elemental sovereigns? They have their own advanced civilization? Yes. A really long time ago. Very few records have survived until now, so no one really knows what the devices here are for. These ruins have been abandoned for a long time, but with the recent increase in Abyss activity, the installations around here have somehow been activated again. So what you're saying is... We're not in for an easy trip to the Night Kingdom. Of course not. <laughs> no. It's going to be obstacle after obstacle from here on out. <laughs> Genau das, was ich hören wollte. Um, why are you all laughing like that? It's creeping Paimon out. It's the pre-adventure excitement kicking in. Right, guys? Of course. I'm eager to get started. Solche Momente leben Abenteuer. Then let's go. We won't let anything stand in our way. Komm schon, Paimon, du hast schon Schlimmes hinter dir. Seems like the road ends here. How should we get across? As a professional trainer, I think you could stand to build up your endurance, Paimon. Professional trainer? Paimon thought you were a warrior from the Collective of Plenty. Well, that goes without saying. But I actually work as a sports coach. I provide professional guidance for many of Natland's popular sports. And I don't just mean physical training. I design nutrition plans as well. Ah, so basically no sugar, no soft drinks, no grilled meat. Yeah, yeah, we'll be here all day if you list them out one by one. It's much faster to just focus on what's good for you. Such as? Vegetable juice. Mmm. Want some? You know, ian son? Paimon feels like the two of us might not see eye to eye. Klettern kann ich nicht. Das ist doof. So, what am I actually missing? Nein, das war klar. Ach so. Ah, ja, natürlich. Of course that works. Even though it's not supposed to work, but it worked. Der Versuch war, was zählt oder was? Look familiar. We fought them before. Let's go. Show no mercy. I fought. There 
There's no escape. <laughs> Shower me with that go. Also ganz ehrlich, mit dem Team ist es relativ easy, da durchzurennen. Ja, okay, Dullis brauchen wir jetzt nicht drüber reden, okay? Gut. So nicht. Ich will gerade wieder meine FPS sterben, wie sonst was. Ja gut, das Update hat meine Controller-Probleme nicht gefixt. Re. Aber das ist auch ein Neustart von dem Ding, das ganze Fix ist halt auch echt freudig. This is the final stretch. We just need to climb up and we'll be there. Nothing to it. Easy for you to say. Wir haben doch unsere Saurier-Freunde. Natürlich ist das easy. Hm. Ein Abgrundriss. This must be the entrance the Pyro Archon told us about. One ripped open by the Abyss. Yes. There's something in the depths of this place that feels familiar. Yet also foreign. We actually have to go in there? Yep. Okay, Paimon just needs to psych herself up. Don't push her through before she's ready. Abflug. Ich will dem Abgrund in den Arsch treten. 24 Father Motherfucking 7. Hey, you don't have to drag Paimon. You're pulling too hard. Hm. 
Was zu sehr gezögert. Looks like we made it. This is the Night Kingdom. Oh, it looks so different from what I imagined in the stories. Yes, you brought up one, Maggie. That overflow of energy, energy is probably what trapped Kachina here in the first place. From this point forward, everything we know about the real world no longer applies. Anything can happen here. Paimon's more worried about how we're gonna make it out. We obviously can't go back the way we came. Do you see that patch of light on the ground? It's shining down from that fissure in the sky. Oh yeah, right in front of us. So that's coming from up there? Oh, it's so high up. Did we really fall that far down? Just like I said, our real world knowledge doesn't apply here. We fell all this way yet came out completely unscathed. If this was the real world, we'd have to climb our way back up to the entrance. But here all we have to do is stand underneath the light and offer a prayer. Th that's it? Right, right. We still got a job to do. So that means all we need to do is find Kachina and bring her to this location. Exactly. This light is streaming in from the real world. It's a link between the two realms. Hmm. The terrain looks difficult to navigate, and the visibility is not great either. How are we supposed to find Kachina in these conditions? Yeah. These floating black things don't look super friendly either. Those are all manifestations of abyssal power. Be careful. Ghost! Uh. Attacking ghost! Nope. Calm down. I'm here to help. You're the ones who helped Vichama, right? Malco? Yes. I'm Vichama's friend, Malco. I was completely lost to this realm until I sensed a mysterious power calling out to me. It's like it was seeking me out, attempting to reassemble the pieces of who I used to be. Of course, it could only do so much. I'm sorry I can only appear before you in this imperfect form. No, we should be the ones apologizing. If the Spirit Speaker Stone hadn't become corrupted by the Abyss, we could have done much more. But we had to destroy it. Otherwise, Vichama and his tribe would have been in danger. Of course. Thank you for protecting him. I never imagined that, even after all these years, he'd still take such a risk for me. Under the power of the stone, it felt like our souls were connected. Turns out even our regrets were exactly the same. Whether in triumph or death, you want your best friend by your side. Exactly. That may not be in the cards for us, but... It's not too late for you. You're looking for a young girl from the Children of Echoes, right? She's being chased by an embodiment of abyssal power. I'd like to help her while I'm still in this form, so follow me. Be careful. This place has been severely corroded by the Abyss. Paimon didn't realize it had gotten this bad. It's like a seething volcano ready to engulf our world at any moment. Ouch! Quick, get back here! You can't go on. Stick close to me. My power will be able to ward off attacks for the time being. Go. We won't be able to keep this up. Let's try another route. This way. Interesting. Uh, not good. More monsters. We shouldn't waste our time on them. Wheel of life. Ta. Ta. Oh. schnell geworden. Oh, Simon can't see anything. It's 
easy to get lost here. Just stick close. Die Rotzen sind böse, die sie schwarz sind. Did you hear that? What? Never mind. It was probably just my imagination. Mm -mm. Don't scare Paimon like that. I heard it too. It was a voice from the abyss. Ah! What did it say? It doesn't matter. It certainly doesn't harbor good intentions. That's right. Gabenwölfe. Jungs, lasst Katschina in Ruhe oder ihr werdet es berocken. Like our reunion will have to wait until we take care of these monsters. Good idea. Let's go. Go. There is no escape. The show begins. Torn to oblivion. Transfixed. You're here. You're finally here. Thank you so much. That monster can appear from anywhere. It almost caught me a bunch of times. The Wyab's power helped keep me hidden, so I just tried to stay out of sight until you got here. Had a girl. You did so well. And Können wir uns bitte zum Weihob aufmachen? Should we start heading back then? I'm just asking. Actually, I have a request. Will you come visit the Weihob with me? Bitte, danke schön. I can't exactly put it into words, but something's wrong with the Ode of Resurrection. And I know it has something to do with the contamination from the Abyss. That was the Pyro Archon's theory as well. Everything we've seen here certainly seems to back it up. In the Night Kingdom, there are six main totem poles representing the Wyab of each tribe. You can think of them like the body of each Wyab. Additional totem poles, like the ones around here, serve as proxies to which the Wyab can extend their consciousness. There are countless proxies scattered around the Night Kingdom. Through them, the Wyab can extend their consciousness over the entire realm and track down souls no matter where they roam. But if a proxy were to become severely contaminated, then a soul could become lost within the Night Kingdom. Judging by the current situation, I don't think we're dealing with just one contaminated proxy. Even if we could drive back the Abyssal power from one of them, that probably wouldn't even put a dent in the problem. Still, we can't just leave the Wyab to suffer. It's protected me this whole time. Als zu retten ist immer noch besser als gar kein zu retten, eben. I agree. We might even manage to draw out the monster that's been hunting Gachina. Getting rid of the monster might slow down the deterioration of the Night Kingdom. Gachina? What's wrong? N nothing. Just a headache. And that voice again. 
telling me to abandon the lab and leave this place. Maybe we really should leave. Kachina's already been here for too long. No, I... I'm fine. I don't plan on listening to that nonsense. I can hold on. Was this totem? Just up ahead. I'll lead the way. Besides, I can still fight, so please help me out a little longer. Listen to me, Kachina. We'll come with you, but that's because we want to help the Wyob, not because we have something to prove. You don't have anything to prove either. It's okay if you reach your limit. We'll be there for you. All right. The sooner we get this done, the better. We've already come all this way, so we might as well try to get to the bottom of this. Let's go. This way. I'll stay here and try to stall the Abyss Monster. All by yourself? That's too dangerous! It's alright. I may not be as strong as that monster, but I'm definitely more familiar with the area. Besides... I don't have much time left. If you're anything like my friend, I'm sure you're not particularly fond of goodbyes. So go. Achieve your goal. And return to the world where you belong. Thank you for everything. You're a true hero. <laughs> Thank you. No one fights alone. Does your head still hurt? Let me help you walk. I'm fine, I'm fine. You should know I'm made of stronger stuff than that. So, dann wollen wir doch mal ran an den ganzen Spaß hier. Get over here. Right. The contamination is already too severe. It's preventing the Wyab from answering our calls. All right, get ready, everyone. Time to purge the abyssal energy from this place. Let's go. Careful. We've got company. Ach, so oh, ein Dulli jetzt schon. You really think that beauty soul could slow me down? Courage in the face of futility is pure folly. He tried to get in my way, so I disposed of him. You... you killed Nalko? He would have dispersed with or without me. Rather than worrying about him, I would urge you to focus on yourself. Oh, yeah. You may have defeated others of my kind in the past, but underestimate me now, and it will be to your peril. No, the power of the abyss is intoxicating. The destruction it seeks captivates like a masterful work of art. I strive only for the opportunity to see it up close. I thought this naive little girl was an exception, but it turns out humanity is full of lambs willing to offer themselves up to the slaughter. That is the tragedy of your short lives. You understand nothing of all-encompassing power. Ancient names, pride, friendship, all empty ideas invented to give you a false sense of self-worth. They possess no power at all. Was glaubst du auch nur du? 
The Pyro Archon created those grandiose ideals out of pure selfishness. Anything to avoid sharing power. Anything to avoid handing over the primordial gift to ordinary people like you. Don't believe me? Then ask yourself, why is the Pyro Archon strong beyond measure, while you, Kachina, remain so pathetically weak? I... I... Kachina! Give me your hand. Feel that? I'm right here next to you. Thanks, Moalani. You're right. I have nothing to fear. Because I'm not alone anymore! <laughs> You're right. Maybe comforting ideals don't have any power. But you also couldn't be more wrong. You've never had to work for your own strength, so you will never understand the true source of our power! What? Ha! <laughs> The courage we have to stand before you and not back down? It comes from our friendship. The power lies not in the ideal itself, but in our commitment to upholding that ideal, and in our decision to stand together and fight! Well said! Let's go, Kachina. It shouldn't take more than two of us to handle an enemy like this. Sorry in advance, but you... You deserve what's coming to you! Katsu? There aren't many in Natland who can beat us when we're together. It's time he got a taste of that kind of power. Oder wirklich nur so solo Figuren? Ja, yeah, okay. Wie sich herausstellte, war er nicht stärker als die, die gegen... Nee, 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 nee. What's happening? My ancient name is Glowing? But I thought I didn't bring it with me. It's probably a projection from the real world. But that doesn't explain why it's glowing all of a sudden. Wait, does that mean you're... That was a bold move, diving headfirst into the fire to save your friend, especially in a place so overrun with abyssal corruption. Tough. Still, seeing you pull it off <laughs> was really something. Everything you said was exactly right. As isolated individuals, we stand no chance against the power of the abyss. It took years worth of scars and lots of unnecessary suffering for me to understand that for myself. The Pyro Archon's plan will unite us as one. Everyone has a part to play. Only then will we have the power to defeat the strongest of foes. 
Who are you? Tupac, a warrior from the people of the Springs. I fought against the Abyss during the invasion 500 years ago. I've heard that name before. You were the giant who saved all of Natlan. Since you were able to awaken my words from your ancient name, that means you have fully embodied the aspirations of the Wyub. Under the name Umoja, you shall unite the tribes and save Natlan from its impending doom. So eine Kernrolle kriegt die Kleine. Okay, cool. As long as blood still runs through your veins, even the tiniest spark of steel against stone can ignite a flame. Its blaze will become one with our vision for Natlan. Even amid everlasting darkness, our bonds remain eternal. new so that's what happened what do you mean did you just figure something out 500 years ago they foresaw the very crisis we're facing now efforts to save natlan started all the way back then we can go over the details once we get back we shouldn't linger here longer than we have to i know bits and pieces but i had no idea muolani was also part of the plan this sounds like something that's going to need a lot of explaining. Let's focus on saving the Wyub first. Travel up. That's on you. Ah, die geben dem die Kraft und wir ziehen den Abyss raus. Na dann. That should be enough. Why up? Why up? Can you hear me? I hear your voice, Kachina, my dear child. Great. Well then, well, I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye. I just wanted to make sure you were okay before we leave, but we can't afford to stay here any longer. I was going to ask why you bestowed an ancient name upon someone like me, but it's okay. I'll keep searching within myself for the answer. I'll never stop trying to improve my strength. One day, I'll live up to the hero you saw in me. You are already an outstanding child in my eyes, Kachina. No matter what happens. You are all my most beloved children. It has always been my honor to protect and nurture you. Your ancient name is just that. A name. Much like your parents chose to name you Kachina, I also gave you a name, but it need not define you. Focus on who you want to be. You are already worthy of your name. Now, you need only devote yourself to becoming a better you. The story of your ancient name is for you to continue. Just like your parents, my love for you will never change. No matter what the future holds. <sighs> Thank you, Wyub. It gladdens me to see the Pyro Archon's plan move another step towards completion. But it is time for you to leave this place. The situation here is getting worse. Go now, my children. 
Save Matlan on behalf of all you hold dear. I know we've never met before, Wyab, but I just wanted to say thank you for encouraging Kachina. It was exactly what she needed to hear. Whoa! What's going on? An earthquake? We're out of time. It's the power of the abyss. Quick, we need to run! It's a Sealy! The Sealy opened the way for us! Or we'll be stuck here! Done well. Now come home. What? We're back. The Pyro Archon saved us. She's not here. Sie hat ihre Kräfte wieder erlangt. Ja, yeah, didn't she say she used it all up? She's still in the speaker's chamber. What we saw in the Night Kingdom was just her consciousness. So you're saying her consciousness did all that? Every great display of power comes at a price. <coughs> You must feel terrible, Kachina. Just hold on. We'll get you to a doctor soon. Let's get back to the stadium. The Pyro Archon said she'd have a doctor waiting for us. I recommend getting a full checkup. Just to make sure no damage gets left behind. Hi, Mom feels okay. What about you, Traveler? Please, what? Right. You always seem to do pretty well against the Abyss. Yeah. Let's get going. We need to share what we learned in the Night Kingdom as well. Auch wenn wir gestehen muss, ich habe ja immer noch die Theorie. So viel wie ich aushalte, umso mehr stärker ich meine Schwester. Aber das ist ein anderes Thema. Right. The Wyatt mentioned something about the Pyro Archon's plan. What is it exactly? I'll let her explain everything. We're all a part of the plan now. Every move we make from here on out will decide Natlin's ultimate fate. Abfahrt.
a lot less stuff here than before. Um. Jetzt sagt man nicht, sie hat all die Sachen geopfert, um. It's good to see you all here in one piece. I know you must have a lot of questions, but let Koichi check you over first. It's best not to let any lingering effects of the abyss go untreated. Bitte, danke schön. Thank goodness you made it back. I came here as soon as the Pyro Archon told me about your plan. Take a seat, everybody. I'll examine you one by one. Danke schön. Ja, okay, dass wir alle ein bisschen ab, äh, angefressen sind, ist klar. Das ist perfekt. Aber das in Ich muss sagen, ich habe the Abyss like you, Traveler. It's like you're completely immune to its power. Yeah. He always has been special like that. He can even purify its power. Wait, now that you mention it, Paimon doesn't think she's affected either. We wissen aber auch nicht warum. Given the current situation, that ability will likely play a great role in the events to come. Of course. I still have patience to see, so I'll head out. Thank you, Koichi. All right, all right. We might not see eye to eye, but we both had good intentions. Just give it time. I'm sure we'll figure things out between us one day. Yeah. All right. There's so much to discuss, I don't even know where to begin. You've seen it for yourselves now. The devastation in the Night Kingdom. I'll get straight to the point. Natlan is on the verge of destruction. It's very possible our nation has less than a year before total devastation. Huh? Kriegen wir hin. No. That, that can't be true, can it? That's right. But I've only ever disclosed that fact to the handful of people working with me to save this nation. Our looming destruction is not a recent development. But the inevitable conclusion of the disaster the Abyss initiated 500 years ago. Mulani told us a little bit about that. 500 years ago, all the nations of Tevat were invaded by the Abyss. Yep. Unlike the other nations, Natlan never had stable and deep-rooted ley lines, so we suffered the worst of the invasion. The battle against the Abyss was exceedingly long and brutal. In the end, victory came at the cost of our civilization and countless lives. Even then, it took centuries of solving the disasters caused by the Abyss to finally achieve the peace we know today. And still, this is but a superficial victory. The forces of the Abyss have merely been driven back underground. Their threat to Natlan remains as real as ever. I... I'd never have guessed. The problems plaguing the Night Kingdom are all the more complicated because that realm is essentially functioning as Natlan's ley lines. Immediately after the war, our calculations estimated that we would have a maximum of 500 years before the Night Kingdom was completely lost to the Abyss. But at that time, we were a nation of the destitute. Our people no longer believed in victory, nor did they hold hope for the future. Our civilization was dying, our faith crumbling, and the line of power passed down from the Wyab nearly severed. If we didn't bring the nation back together, it would be foolish to even dream of defeating the Abyss in the future. So, the Archon had a long and involved discussion with the heroes of each tribe, and finally came up with a 500-year-long plan to save Natlan. So that's what happened. After finding Kachina, I encountered a strange figure who gave me a series of new memories. Since the plan was mentioned in those memories, I guess I've been chosen to play an important role in it. But there's still something I don't understand. Those memories showed me the Pyro Archon from back then. And it was you. Huh? But that doesn't make any sense! The 
Pyro Archon is supposed to be human. It's impossible for a human to live that long. That's right. The hardest thing for humans to overcome has always been time. Or rather, the natural limitations of our lifespan. A god can extend a human's life by using a certain amount of divine power, or subjecting them to a curse. But, as we all know, Natlan doesn't have gods like that. We can only rely on our own methods. A human life is like a flame destined to be extinguished. 500 years ago, I placed my life within the sacred flame. Only by dying before my time could I have the chance to wake up again. So, in other words, this is your second life? Sie ist wie ein Phoenix. Yes. We only managed to defeat the Abyss all those years ago because the tribes came together as one. If the Natlan of the future was to have a fighting chance, the Pyro Archons that came after the war had to rebuild the decimated tribes. The goal was to reunite the people and restore the strength of each tribe's Wyab. Once a tribe was back to its full strength, the tribe's Wyab would select a hero, indicating the tribe was once again ready for war. The Chosen would then stand by my side in defense of our nation, just like great heroes of old 500 years ago. So that means I'm one of the Chosen? Yes, indeed. That's right. You bear the ancient name Umoja, the same one held by the hero from your tribe 500 years ago. It means unity. After your adventure in the Night Kingdom, I trust you've come to fully understand the meaning of that name. So, in other words, you always knew who the Wyab were going to pick from each tribe? Yes. According to the plan, each tribe was supposed to have been fully restored by the time I awoke. But something went wrong along the way. The six heroes successfully inherited the ancient names from 500 years ago, but the intel regarding the plan wasn't passed on to them. Once again, it comes down to the deterioration of the Night Kingdom, Communication between the Sacred Flame and the Wyab has been blocked. Just like how the Ode of Resurrection failed to bring Kachina back. Exactly. It's just another tactic the Abyss is using against us. The Abyss may not possess intelligence, but its methods certainly aren't easy to counter. If we want to unblock that information from being passed on, my presence alone isn't enough. The ancient name bearer must establish a greater connection to their name. So... I've tried my best to help them from the sidelines. Currently, Shalonen of the Children of Echoes, Kinich of the Scions of the Canopy, and Iansan of the Collective of Plenty have all been acknowledged by their names. During your adventure, you too earned the acknowledgement of your Wyab Mualani. In the process, you gained the memories stored within your name. I'm going to say, wish, yeah. We have less than a year! Yes, but we have no choice. We cannot start the plan until all the heroes have been gathered. That's also why I haven't been able to take action despite the urgency of the situation. But if you knew this whole time, why didn't you just tell me about my role in all this? Wouldn't that make everything go a lot faster? Mm, Perhaps, but the opposite could also be true. Knowing your destiny too early could mean failing to realize your full potential. Just like your determination to save Kachina, I hope your commitment to this endeavor comes from your own strength of will, rather than a sense of obligation. Harry, you're the chosen one. Time to get to Narnia and teach you to be a great Jedi to defeat Dark Lord Sauron and free the people of the Grand Line. Kappa. Okay, wie One Piece da jetzt reinkommt, ist mir schleierhaft, aber okay. Sure. Nein. Wir haben Harry Potter, Chosen One, Chosen One, Chosen One. Könnte auch Harry Potter bleiben, aber... Was ich noch einmal rauserwählt? Nochmal? Egal. Äh, Narnia ist klar. Die Chroniken von Narnia. Jedi Star Wars, Dark Lord Sauron ist... Äh ah ja, stimmt. Deswegen. 
Damit haben wir zweimal Star Wars. Ja, okay. Ähm, dann haben wir Herr der Ringe äh, und dann, ja gut, One Piece ist es. Wo kommt der Anime plötzlich? <lacht> Egal. Ah. Nicht schlimm. So I suppose you're not going to tell us who the final two heroes are then. Of course That's not. Right. Their time is yet to come. Putting pressure on them beforehand will only hinder their development. Aber was wenn sie es nicht rechtzeitig schaff schaffen, äh, dann sind wir alle gearscht. I can only trust in the judgment of the Wyab. I have never believed I could solve this crisis alone. In fact, it was precisely because I chose to trust and rely on others that we managed to get this far. Natland's salvation lies not in its Archon or any singular individual, but in us all. You're quite perceptive, aren't you? I thought I might get away with avoiding the topic. Huh? Oh, right! All the stuff you stored here before, where did it all go? Äh, uh, so, ich bewege mich mal Richtung Ahaya. Dir noch viel Spaß, wir hören uns die Tage wieder. Alles klar. Gute Nacht, Morph. Gute Nacht. Even though I sacrificed my power, I still needed a contingency plan to ensure you would make it back from the Night Kingdom. After all, I was the one who allowed you to take that risk. And Moolani has an important role to play in my plan. In addition to their sentimental value... The items I stored here held a much more important purpose. Fuel. Fuel? Oh, so back then, that's why you... Yes. The stories embodied by those items are certainly important. But there's an even more significant trait they all share. Every item belonged to a hero of Natlan. Over time, they became imbued with a certain amount of contending fire from being carried in battle. On their own, each item's power is limited. But together, their combined effect can prove quite useful in a dire situation. By burning those items, I was able to activate the contending fire stored within them to open the boundary between the two worlds. It was a rather crude approach, so all their power was depleted in an instant, as you can see. But aren't they all precious treasures? What about their stories? Herzen. That's exactly why I dragged you all here. No matter what, I never wanted the Pyro Archon to have to use that power. Oh, I'm so sorry. You have nothing to be sorry for. You all deserve my thanks, actually. If you hadn't saved the totem pole, that area of the Night Kingdom would have been forever lost to the Abyss. And then, it would only be a matter of time before the Children of Echoes was met with disaster. Besides, when those heroes entrusted their belongings to me, or the Pyro Archon of their time, it was if they knew those items oh. helped save the present-day heroes of Natlan, they would not mourn their loss. Even when you put it that way, I still feel bad. <laughs> There's no need. Remember what I told you about time? The people and the events of the past are never truly lost to us. We simply carry them with us in a different form. In that sense, we didn't lose anything at all. If you still have regrets, let them fuel your resolve in the battles to come. Your deeds will become new legends and nurture new forms of power just like the items once stored here. Well, we'd still like to return the favor. <laughs> well, if that's the case, just treat me to a drink sometime. Now that Kachina has returned, we can finally hold the victory feast and celebrate your team's triumph in the Night Warden Wars. And we can all use the rest, that's for sure. Plus, you'll be able to silence everyone who doubted you once and for all, Kachina. <sighs> Still, now that I know the danger we're facing, having a victory feast doesn't feel right. Try not to let it get to you. It's important to stay calm. Worrying about it will only affect your judgment. All right. You should head out. I'll join you in a bit.
When I was young, I used to sit by the hot springs and listen to the stories of warriors from all over Natland. They attract people from all walks of life. Friends come easy here, no matter what tribe you're from. The people of the springs have never claimed the hot springs as their own private property. They are there to bring all hot spring buddies together. It's been really nice seeing the children of my tribe get older. It's helped me gradually understand the true value of the springs. I've witnessed their energy, their determination, their absolute passion for life. Ah, uh, even when they cause trouble, I never manage to hold on to my anger for long. It's unbelievable how quickly they worm their way back into my good graces. I'm certain Mualani will become a great warrior when she grows up. She possesses infinite potential. I can see it. One day, when I'm no longer in fighting form, I'll come here and tell stories to all the children, just like those warriors did for me. So, you better get busy, Pyro Archon, or I'll end up running out of stories. <laughs> Center cutscene, not gonna lie. Oh. Our nation is engulfed in darkness. Our tribes stand divided, and yet you promise victory in the distant future. The Abyss is a cunning enemy, one that I faced in battle many times. Were that not the case, I would never understand exercising this degree of caution. My rage will never know absolution, and my power will no longer aid you in victory. But you came to me because you knew you could convince me with just a single sentence. I understand your choice. The heroes of today will forge the path ahead with blood and fire. Just remember to earn us the victory we are owed. Otherwise, rest assured, I'll find a way to collect the debt. What a, what For a, what a, what a, what a, what a. Der Fischer? Nee. So you're gonna head 500 years in the future to serve as the Pyro Archon again? But what about the you from right now? You're just gonna die? You can't ask her those questions and expect her to answer, my dear. The decision is hers to make, and she deserves our support. We will do everything we can to rebuild the tribes. Don't you worry. Even across time, we will all do our part to fight for Natland's future. Yeah, Mom's right. We'll always believe in you, sis. Oh, seriously though, Dad should be here. Where is he? I... I imagine he... he didn't know what to say, so he chose not to come at all. Don't take it to heart, my dear. That's just who he is. Just remember, no matter what happens in the future, we will always love you. I'll come find you one day. I know 
I can't live that long, but I'll think of something. Oh, there has to be a way for us to meet again one day. If there's an answer out there somewhere, I'm gonna find it. So, don't forget about me. Oh, we. If that's your decision, then you have my full support, Archon. May our children live to see such a lovely son. For Nedlin! No one fights alone. The rules are my legacy. They shall grant us the strength to overcome the next tragedy. War forged the six tribes, taught us how to fight, instilled in us what it means to love. Who will be the one to bring this to an end? We are the inheritors of memory and legend. Those who grew alongside sun and wind. Those who forged our own destiny and future. That is Natland's fire. The lifeblood of our nation. Huh. Add Astra. Thank you for comp. Chaska would be here, so I just came to deliver some medicine. I was about to leave, actually. But it's not that I don't want to celebrate Kachina and the others. I'm so glad she made it back. It's just... Well, I'll make things awkward if I'm around my sister right now. Ah, well, you two had a fight, so Paimon can understand. She didn't cause any trouble during your trip, right? None. Yeah, she was super helpful. She gave us a lot of useful information about the Abyss. That's good. That's all I needed to know. Is there a reason you asked? You were pretty outspoken when we first met, but now it's like you're holding something back. Uh, wenn du einem alles erzählen kannst, dann definitiv dem Traveler. Uh, maybe it seemed unreasonable picking that fight with her before you left, but I did it for a reason. Her impulse to fight is extremely strong. Her mental strength helps her rein it in, but she still loses control sometimes. I had no idea what you might face in the Night Kingdom, so I didn't want to take any chances. So what you're saying is... Okay, so maybe it sounds a little stupid, but it works pretty well. It helps her keep her cool for a little while, at least. Anyway, I'm just glad you were able to make it back safe and sound. That's all I wanted. What? Do you really have to go that far? Can't you just talk it out? No way. Chaska never opens up about her own pain, especially to her family. She can't learn about this. Or it'll be even harder to help her.
Na gut, dass du dich uns anvertraut hast. Ich verstehe die Verständnis und keine Angst. Ich werde einen Weg finden, um ihr diese Last zu helfen. Anyway, ich muss jetzt gehen. Genieß die Zelebration. Oh, und wenn du einen Doktor brauchst, weißt du, wo du ihn findest. Right. Ah, wer hätte gedacht, dass es einen tieferen Grund hinter ihrem Streit gab? Sie versuchen aufeinander aufzupassen. Auf jede auf ihre Weise. In the end, it's all the Abyss's fault. Paimon's had enough of them. Hm. Ja. Let's give a huge round of applause to our brave young warrior, Kachina! Woohoo! Well done, Kachina. Thank you, everyone. I'm so glad I finally made it. I always knew you could do it. With so much potential at your age, you have a great future ahead of you. You're one to talk. Don't think I didn't know you were the first person to abandon your team. I'll be dealing with you when we get back. I, I had no choice. My friend invited me. I couldn't just say no. Oh, really? So you weren't just trying to get ahead in the first round? I wasn't, I swear. I just happened to find that bearer injured in the wild. So I stopped to bandage his wounds. Right. When he insisted on repaying the favor, what was I supposed to do? I'm just one person. I figured Kachina would have no trouble replacing me. But the fact of the matter is that after your departure, everyone else started thinking about swapping teams too. I'm really sorry, Kachina. It was wrong of us to abandon you like that. It's amazing that you still made it all the way through to the Night Warden Wars. That's the highest honor. So, uh... What about you guys? Did you make it far? Um... Our team captain drank too much the night before the competition and turned up late to the stadium on the day. We got disqualified. So... <laughs> <laughs> Serves you all right. No sympathy for me. Hashtag <laughs> Kaba. All right, all right. There's no need to be like that, Uncle Pakal. Um, dear friends, I'd like to say a few words. Firstly, I'm grateful to my friends and our great Archon for helping to bring me back. This traveler and his companion Paimon are some of the strongest people I've ever met. If they were allowed to participate in the pilgrimage, I have no doubt that they'd win the whole thing. They've agreed to let me learn from them. With their help, I believe I can become even stronger still. And let's not forget my good friends, Moalani, Chaska, Kanich, and Dionsan. They all helped the Traveler and Paimon figure out a way to bring me back from the Night Kingdom. They too deserve to be called our heroes. So, please give another round of applause for them. Thank you so much. Well said! I'll drink to that. <laughs> How does it feel being a hero, Kachina? To be honest, it's a bit overwhelming. It all just feels so... surreal. Well, you better get used to it! Next stop, Undefeated Champion! So werde ich auch noch Trainer des Jahres. Hey, please don't make fun of me. <laughs> And he is clutch, Traveler. It cost us a lot, but we got Kachina back safely. And that's what matters. 
There'll be even tougher challenges coming our way in the days ahead, though. We'll have to train harder, make sure we're in peak condition. That includes you, Paimon. I can do a special one-off session to show you the ropes. Interested? Uh, no thanks. At previous victory feasts, you'd always find me in the crowd, singing and dancing. But after what I found out today, it's too much. I'm still trying to process it. It does feel weird seeing you so out of sorts. Es ist wichtig, solche Momente zu genießen, wenn sie sich eignen. Is this another pearl of wisdom based on your adventuring experience? <laughs> well, Paimon agrees with the traveler. Come together to celebrate Kachina's achievements. That's gotta be a first. You're right. <laughs> Kachina looks really happy. And now I'm being the moody one. Oh, enough doom and gloom. Time to shake it off. Du hast doch die Party Maus letztens noch, huh? I've been through so much all at once. Everything still kind of feels like a dream. Are you still feeling unwell? Nope, all better now. <laughs> I told you I bounced back pretty quick. So don't worry about me. Perfect. I bet you guys must be tired though. Make sure you get some good rest tonight. You gotta recharge so you'll be in the mood to have fun. All right, Kachina. Let's party! I... I am a little embarrassed. <laughs> Don't be! Come on, you're the star of the show today! My apologies. I knew more than I let on. Everything comes at a price, and most heroes aren't people who set out to become a hero. If you cling too tightly to your goal, you end up losing things that are far more precious. But in any case, we're now on the same page. I wonder how long before the two final heroes appear, from the Flower Feather Clan and the Masters of the Nightwind. Ah, Master of the Nightwind, I think we have here. It's rare to meet travelers as strong and brave as yourselves. I raise my glass to you. Anyway, my sister's already gone back to our tribe. She has patience to treat. Oh, we actually ran into her on the way here and, uh... Well... Paimon just thinks she really cares about you. Yeah. I'm planning on visiting home myself in a few days. To tell her and the rest of the family that they need to be extra careful. I just hope they take it seriously. The Abyss has likely sensed your arrival in Natlin by now. So exercise caution on your adventures as well. Ah, Rivo! Da wird Yolo-mäßig reingeheizt und Gude ist. Yo, Mavuika. Ah, you're here. Have some fruit juice. I got it specially for you two. You look like you've still got questions. Ask away. Oh boy. There's a lot of questions though. Ah, ist dein Platz nicht ein wenig zu kompliziert? Ist dein Plan nicht ein wenig zu kompliziert? Warum hast du die äh, Helden der Vergangenheit nicht dazu gebracht, sich dir in diesem Zeitalter anzuschließen? Ah. Because they had their own lives to live. The thought of telling them, abandon your families and everyone you love, and come with me to the end of time. For in 500 years, Natlan will be destroyed. It seemed too cruel. You could just as easily point out that everything in this world would come to an end eventually. But life is short. And beyond a point, it just doesn't seem real. Imagine if I said, let's leave right now. And go save the sun because it'll flame out in a few million years. It would sound quite ridiculous. I couldn't make them shoulder that burden with me. Besides, 
every generation will have its heroes, this one included. The plan could still work without them. Or, of course, without me. But since I was the one who came up with the plan, I felt duty-bound to see it through to the end. Paimon suddenly remembering that portrait in your room. Was that your family from back then? Yes, it was. So when you ask me who my sister grew up to be, the truth is that very little information survives. From what I've been able to piece together, I can conclude with a reasonable degree of confidence that she ended up as an architect and artist. She played an instrumental role in rebuilding the scions of the Canopy tribe, designing and building many houses. But of course, um, none of her buildings are around anymore. Still, it was an impressive achievement, and I'm very proud of her. Was war so schlimm, was du hinter dir gelassen? Was war so schlimm, was du hinterlassen, hinter dir gelassen musstest? You feel lost keenly. It seems to stir up feelings of regret in you. But this is something I have long since come to terms with. This is a war, and there can be no war without loss. I am already far more fortunate than those who lost their lives to the abyss. The people of Natland look to me as their archon, and the weight of their expectations is mine to bear. I must see our fate through to the very end, no matter what I may find there. Ja, das wollte ich fragen, wenn du bereits über das Schicksal Bescheid wusstest. Ja, yeah, doesn't that mean the way everything ends has already been written, including your plan? I suppose, but so what? Don't forget, time takes many forms. The past, present, and future coexist, and all are equally important. Even if the future ends in destruction, there's still no reason to give up on the here and now. And it's precisely because we humans cannot know our fate that we will never give up on our struggle. This is a pivotal moment. We are still two heroes short. Well, three, to be precise. There's one further hero who I'm hoping to get on my side. Whatever it takes. Your resistance to the corrupting power of the Abyss is truly remarkable. It would easily make you an all-important figure in the upcoming battle. If you agree to join us, you will not only gain my full support in your journey, but I will also forge a brand new ancient name for you. Ancient names can be forged? They can. Several strict conditions must be met, but if they couldn't be forged at all, then the number of them in circulation would have long dwindled to zero. Possessing an ancient name would mean that your adventures in Natlan are recorded in full. Your stories will be remembered by our people for all the years to come. The Ode of Resurrection may have temporarily lost its power, but still. Take this as my personal guarantee that I shall never let you fall. Just Zinch. like in the Night Kingdom, I will be there for you. That is a promise I will fulfill at all costs. This nation always honors its heroes. Yeah, we can't just ignore the situation here. Wonderful. Then I'll reach out to Shilonen right away. She's the one who will forge the name. We've never forged an ancient name for an outlander before, but I trust she'll find a way. Naja, was heißt Outlander? Also ja, klar, wir sind der Reisende, der Outlander. We've received word that the Pyro Archon has lost much of her power. Although your injury complicates things, this is most certainly the opportune time to seize the Gnosis. Victory and defeat are rules, not outcomes. I have never taken advantage of an opponent in a time of weakness, and I don't intend to start now. As for you, I must confess, I did not expect that little trick of yours to save the day. No matter how dense the fog, as long as the sun remains, we cannot turn day into night. She could have dispelled it. She simply chose not to. Ah, <sighs> you don't have much time, and... You're injured on top of that. What do you plan to do next? I'm beginning to see just how useful you may turn out to be. You 
heard something from here, didn't you? <laughs> wow, they're even breaking the third wall. Wow. Wow. Oh, um, something else you'd like to ask? Well, our intel suggests he hasn't made any new movements yet. Although Kenichi's investigation helped us confirm that he's being aided by someone from the Masters of the Nightwind. I'm getting closer to narrowing down who that may be, but it's still unclear whether this person aided the captain out of willingness or coercion. If you learn anything about this during your adventures, please let me know. Of course you will. Oh, um, something else you'd like to ask? The Abyss is the most formidable enemy in all of Tabat. In the beginning, it took failure and tragedy to even begin to learn how to fight back. All of the methods you've seen in other nations were developed based on experience and insight passed down over generations. We know them to work, but few of us actually understand why. It's the same for the method we use here in Natlan. Ever since ancient times, elemental energy has been one of our most reliable weapons against the Abyss. As for the principles behind it, I'm afraid you might have to seek answers from someone older than the position of Pyro Archon itself. Oh, what? Um, something else you'd like to ask? Yeah, but the obvious not from Menschen aus Nutland in other region. <sighs> that also comes down to the long-standing effects of the Abyss. Our people's survival is inextricably tied to the Wyab, but their power has its limits. They cannot offer our people the same degree of protection outside our borders. In fact, people who do decide to leave often suffer from memory loss and emotional issues. Everyone in that land understands this. That's why our people never leave without a good cause. Even if someone is left with no choice, the chief of their tribe must seek approval with the Wyab to grant them leave. And the oh. Wyab have always been very strict about granting that approval. Since extending protection beyond our borders means consuming power reserved for our fight against the Abyss. Still, there's no need to worry. The Wyab extend their protection to all within Natlan, including visitors from afar. Oh, um, something else you'd like to ask? That's for alles. Danke, Mabuika. It's rare to meet travelers as strong and brave as yourselves. I raise my glass to you. Anyway, my sister's already gone back to our tribe. Oh, we actually... Yeah. The Abyss has left... Ja, hatten wir schon. Danke. Ich einfach 500 fucking Uhr gestellt für den Auftrag, Junge. Das ist strong. Das ist richtig strong. Was ist noch das Zeug oben drauf? Also. Holy shit, das ist eine Menge. Ähm. Errungenschaften. Wiedervereinigung, ich werde dich finden, egal wie weit weg. Jo. Die Grenzen, die den Rückweg blockierten, sie zerbrachen und ein Licht erhellte die Dunkelheit des Chaos. Jo. Schwarzer Stein unter dem Weißen begraben. Schließe Schwarzer Stein unter dem Weißen begraben ab. Okay. I've been through so much all at once. Everything still... Are you still feeling unwell? Nope. All better. I bet you... So. So viel also zum Arkon-Auftrag. Ich hatte einen Auftrag. So viel also zum Archonten-Auftrag. 
Dann können wir uns jetzt ab, äh, können wir uns ja ab jetzt problemlos äh, um die Ähm, ja. Um unseren Ruf in den verschiedenen Stämmen kümmern. Den Wasserstamm. Also den, 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 den Wasserdrachenstamm, den Dendrodrachenstamm und den äh, Steindrachenstamm. Und auch gleichzeitig um unser Event, tatsächlich. Aber nicht mehr heute, denn es ist spät. Und mit dieser Hemme Täuschung, zurück ins Zelt. Peace.